All right, y'all, so what's crazy is I've been considering buying some bread. Should I do it? Should I do it? Let me know in the comment section because I, I think of it this way. The way that I approach it, people are selling right now. People are scared. People are nervous. And yeah, I mean, it's a kind of crazy situation. But at the end of the day, if I'm not going to put in too, too much, if I'm not going to go crazy, I can gamble it and see what happens with it, right? I mean, that, that's what it's about, right? I could, I could still gamble it and potentially make some earnings because it's dropped down so low. That FUD was a that was FUD was strong enough to get the price low enough to where I can get in and get a little more bang for my buck. So the way I'm looking at it, I might as well sit here and go ahead and use this technique to go and get me some bread. I, you all know I'm already invested in Chuck and all that, but yeah. And, and speaking of which, that's that's where this video came from. A lot of people have been asking me how to buy Chuck and other meme coins that's on the um on base basically. So yeah, one of my homies, Chris, actually already covered this, so we are gonna be checking that out. But let me know in the comment section, what are you holding from base? Are you a fan of the base network? Are you going to be getting some of their um getting some of their meme coins and stuff like that? I right now the only thing that I currently hold is chuck but i am looking to i'm really paying attention to some brett too i might grab a little bag a little bag and and if you don't know the way that i like to invest i'm not i'm never going to over leverage i'm never going to put myself in a bad situation so it's going to be something that i can 100 percent lose which so i think of it like this yo if i'm going to go out on the weekend and go to a restaurant and spend like 200 dollars I'm gonna be like, I'm not ever gonna get that money back. So instead, I'm gonna just stay in, make a sandwich, and then I'm gonna put that $200 into something like bread. Like, that's how I invest. So it's like, I'm never losing because I was just gonna go and blow that at the restaurant anyway. So instead of blowing that at the restaurant, let me do something good for my future. So anyway, that being said, we're going to be going over how to buy meme coins um, on the base, on, on base basically. So yeah, let's jump into it, y'all. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications. We got a lot more meme coin content coming. We have a lot more of my other investment. I, I'm huge into AI. I'm huge into gaming. That's a lot of my more, you know, a lot of my more solid investments. This, this like meme coin, the meme coin community for me, it's just fun and gambling. Like that's what it is for me personally. But yeah, let's get it. How to buy base the easiest possible way. So yesterday I made a video. It was very detailed on base, what it is. I kind of put in there how to buy stuff, but I glanced over it because I had so much more to talk about, about the technical parts of the chain, why I think Coinbase is going to push it, why I think there's 10x opportunities on there, all that fun stuff. You guys responded and listen, speaking of 10x opportunities, y'all, if you haven't already, I'm telling you, go check out Chuck. Go check out Chuck, bro. Like it's going up like crazy right now. It is actually exploding right now. And I mean, speaking of 10X opportunities, bro, like that's, I believe that could be a hundred X, thousand X opportunity, bro. Like seriously. So, I, and then people don't even know all the stuff that they got coming. And if you don't like, bro, I know a lot of people don't like to check out the Patreon, but I have revealed some things. I spoke to the team at Chuck and I've revealed some things on the Patreon that's not even public knowledge yet. So once this stuff comes out and this stuff gets big, bro, come on now. It's gonna it's gonna be crazy. So check out the Patreon too, by the way, if you are interested in getting that getting that earlier information and stuff like that. Like that this is me, my network. I get a lot of information that a lot of other people don't have access to. So I mean, that's just what it is. But anyway, let, let's jump into it. And there was overwhelmingly a couple of things that I want to address how to buy the easiest way. So this is for beginners. You don't even know much about crypto. You're just learning. I'm going to try to do step by step. That's how I started off making my crypto content years ago. That's my roots. I want to help people that just are beginning, just getting into it. This isn't their life and figure out how to do it. So this video is for you if you're watching. I'm also going to include just for fun, I don't endorse individual coins on this channel. None of these coins are paid. Um, this is just something that's for fun. It's one of the biggest coins on base. You guys wanted me to include my video. So while I'm showing you how to buy on base, I'm gonna show you a particular coin and that's called Brett. So how do you go from not knowing any of this to owning some Brett, which is a layer two. And by the way, for the technical people that are a little more advanced, yes, you can't like buy base. You're bridging Ethereum to the layer two. I know that it's cheaper transactions, but for the sake of understanding, we're going to talk about buying base okay so download coinbase if you don't have coinbase buy ethereum i have an example of me yeah people be getting real technical with it bro like people just want to hold the freaking token so they can make some money with it that's it like it don't matter how it works behind the back end 
and that's that's one of the things it is interesting once you get to learning about the back end and how everything really works in the proper terms and everything like that but at the end of the day what's going to really cause mass adoption and make us all the most money is when it's so simplified and so idiot proof that you don't have to know any of that and you can still just do it because you're all the platforms just work it just does all this complicated stuff for you almost and it's all still just it doesn't compromise security and stuff like that to do it it doesn't give someone else control of your your keys and stuff like that to do it like that's what's really going to take things to the next level when they simplify that um yeah sim simplify all of that so yeah i think that that's that's when like mass adoption is going to be huge for this space man that's what i believe be doing this right here now i swapped my usdc that i already had in my wallet because i'm literally just doing this for this video so buy ethereum and then you send it out to send it out where you're sending it to you're going to need to download a wallet i typically do not recommend coinbase wallet but this is the absolute easiest way to do this so i'm not going to go into all that download a coinbase wallet make sure you're downloading coinbase wallet do be having scams and stuff on it bro like, i don't know how people can send you fake since you fake notifications that you don't won fifty thousand dollars and stuff like that, like like how do they get private access to to you to be able to send you that through Coinbase wallet? Like some of this stuff is some of this stuff is wild. Like they it's like they set up people in certain ways. But so be careful of stuff like that, by the way. So Coinbase wallet is what you should probably use for this, but be careful because it's some sketch stuff that goes on. So make sure you take some time to learn it and realize what scams and things like that the correct one when you go to set up the wallet there's going to be a 12 to 24 word seed phrase write that down don't show it to anybody make sure you can hold it this is literally the keys to your wallet so if it gets lost if your dog eats it if your kid rips it up or anything like that you can no longer access the wallet if you get signed out on your phone store that somewhere safe there's all kinds of security measures. I talk about those in my previous videos. After setting up the wallet, there is literally a receive button. You click that receive button and you copy that address. You bring it over to Coinbase and you send Ethereum to that address. But this is a pivotal part in all of this. When you go to send Ethereum, select base, okay? Select that base because it's layer two chain. And after that, you can send it. Again, I did my example with $100. I had people complaining yesterday because they said it's just too expensive to send the Ethereum or blah, blah, blah. It was like less than three bucks to buy it and to swap it and send it. So come on, I swapped a hundred bucks worth. I have 97, 21 after the swap fees, after sending it. I do still pay for Coinbase Pro, so maybe I saved on that. But as far as sending it, it's not that bad. Okay, so for this part, there is so many other ways. That's what really gets you in this space, man. The fees, everything is so expensive at times, but... And then, yeah, everybody always knows these cheaper workarounds and stuff like that. I mean, realistically, it is always better to get the biggest bang for your buck. But some stuff, it's just if you're comfortable with it, you're comfortable enough and you know what you're going to be paying and you're willing to pay that, do what you got to do. Like, don't sit here and try to try out a, a new, better way that could potentially lose you your money because you don't know what you're doing. So it's better to know what you're doing and pay a little bit extra than to not know what you're doing and try to save some money because it's going to be a hell of a lot more costly if you don't know what you're doing, you screw up, and then you end up losing what you're trying to do. So just, just do whatever it is that you actually can understand and wrap your head around. Like that's, that's the most important thing. It's cheaper ways to do this. But again, this video is for the easiest possible way to buy meme coins like Brett on base. So what we're gonna do is we're literally going to click on our Ethereum, we're going to click swap, and we're gonna choose an asset. At this point, you can literally type in Brett. And there are several things that pop up, but as, as I have right here on my phone, uh, the Brett popped up. Now, there could be fake coins on here. Uh, I'll show you how to verify that in just a minute, but we're gonna go through the transaction. We are going to buy this Brett right now in real time as far as making this video goes. In short, to verify, there is this little square and this little arrow. You click it. And if you look at the token, I mean, this Brett has 26,000 holders. I can then plug this in to deck screen and see the market cap to make sure I'm buying the correct token. I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video, but we're gonna go ahead and swap $95 for 3,427 Brett. It always is very, very important to make sure you're buying the, the proper token too. A lot of people make these little scams and they'll name it the same and all that. 
but the 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 address is always going to give it away. You make sure you go to the official sources. Like some people, it's, some time, sometimes you do it, and it's more complicated to you know verify certain things. You want to go to the official Twitters. You want to go to the official social media's official website, and they're usually going to have the um the contact contract address, and you'll be able to just put that in and make sure it matches up. Like look at the beginning, look at the end, make sure it's you know all you know everything is good. Um, I don't, I don't know if anybody just reads through every single number, but like, yeah, um, yeah. Again, I am showing you this, uh, just to show you how to buy meme coins on base. I'm not saying you need to go all go buy Brett. That just so happens to be what the people voted for in my last video. And I listen to all your comments. I read all of them, the good, the bad, the ugly. I Brett appreciate you guys for leaving them, whether you like my content or whether you hate my content. And that's it. I now have $94 worth of Brett. If I wasn't making this video with it, I could have done that in less than two minutes. You swap or you buy, you send it over the base network, uh, and then you swap your Ethereum on base for Brett, you are good to go. If you think I left out any steps, leave them down below. And before we conclude this video, for those of you that just really wanna know how to be safe, I'll show you something real quick. This is Dex Tools. This is like one of my favorite ways to verify. So again, I'm just gonna type in Brett. There'll probably be some like other stuff pop up. So you have Brett on base right here. We can just make sure by filtering by the base network. And we'll click on it. When we click on it, we can see that it has a $277 million market cap. It has 26,000 holders. It has 1.9 million, which is kind of low in, in liquidity. And of course, you can look at charts and all that. And uh, I now know that this contract should match up with the one that I bought and just to ensure myself that I'm buying the right one. So earlier I could have went into that, like I said, the little square with the arrow, copy that address, paste it in here just to verify. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing, man? You made it this far in the video, like it, subscribe it, do all those fun things. I do videos to help people. Yeah, he makes amazing videos, man. Be sure to check out, check out Chris, man. Check it out. I'll leave his um, channel link down below. But yeah, this was a great video, a great walkthrough. There was no point in me doing it over um, because, yeah, I mean, he he did a great job basically explaining it and going step by step. So let me know what you're going to be getting. What what if you have your bags packed for certain things, if you just want to start getting into something else, let me know what you're getting into in the comment section down below. A lot more videos coming soon, man. We have a lot of interesting stuff to cover here on the channel. So be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe and turn notifications and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.